So let's open up by busting that Thunderbolt is only for Macs myth. It was co-developed by Apple and Intel, but the full rights were eventually transferred to Intel, and now anyone can implement it. And since I've got my history lesson hat on, I might as well give you guys another little factoid. The original prototype, codenamed Light Peak, was actually an optical technology, which would have enabled higher transfer speeds and longer cables. But since copper can carry power in addition to data, and Intel saw better than expected results when testing with copper, all of the Thunderbolt cables you see today will have connectors on each end that look exactly like Mini DisplayPort, but with little lightning bolt symbols on them, and with only copper wires inside them. But what do those wires do then, Linus? Well, they carry a combination of PCI Express and DisplayPort on one serial signal, as well as a DC connection for power all wrapped up in one cable. This means that the Thunderbolt interface can be used to connect and power display, audio, and storage devices, as well as USB, FireWire, and Gigabit Ethernet via adapters. I mean, the sky's pretty much the limit. To top that off, you can run up to six total devices at a time off of a single connector by daisy chaining them all together or by connecting to a hub. Cool stuff. And while I don't think it's fair to say that Thunderbolt 1 took the market by storm, compared to USB 3, it was very expensive, it was certainly a standard unlike anything that we had seen before. And it continues to evolve. In 2013, Thunderbolt 2 arrived with some big changes. Bandwidth was doubled to 20 gigabit bi-directional, enough to watch 4K video while simultaneously running a high-speed storage device over one cable, and maximum transfer speeds were raised to 1500 megabytes per second, though overhead and PCI Express limits keep you from hitting speeds even close to that max spec in the real world. On top of that, it maintained the same connector, which means V1 and V2 are intercompatible. The link will simply operate at the speed of the slower device. All right, well, that's it then, right? 20 gigabit per second simultaneously with 4K video, and you get your high-speed storage through one cable. It's, I mean, that's enough, right? No! We need more power! I, excuse me. Not really sure what happened there. Anyway, we need more power. And by that, I mean we need higher speeds and greater capabilities with less actual power consumption. 50% less if we can rely on a leaked slide of Thunderbolt 3 specs from April 2014. This new format is rumored to come with a doubling of the current Thunderbolt bandwidth from 20 to 40 gigabit per second, and it'll be capable of four modes, including HDMI 2.0. Woo, cool. It should have support for PCI Express Gen 3 and is rumored to be capable of charging devices that require up to 100 watts of power. The bad news is that it's also rumored to require a new connector, so adapters will be needed for backwards compatibility. Now, while we haven't yet reached the 100 gigabit per second maximum speeds over Thunderbolt that Intel promised when they released the protocol, I've seen unofficial statements projecting that speed by around 2020, but nothing confirmed yet, we're still very early in the life cycle, and at the rate Thunderbolt's been moving, I'd be surprised if it takes that long, and I'm very excited to see the future of this uh, very promising, but still very expensive technology. Speaking of things that are very expensive, going to the store and buying razor refills. For, I mean, for some reason, why do they cost so much? They're pieces of metal. And they're in, like, plastic. Metal and plastic. Not that expensive. Well, I don't think they should be that expensive, and neither does today's episode sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. DollarShaveClub.com is the place to go if you want to join the club and stop paying way too much for high-quality razors and, for that matter, other bathroom supplies. They've got a range of different razor options, everything up to the executive with six blades. They've got their Dr. Carver Shave Butter, which goes on clear so you can see what you're doing, and they've even got their One Wipe Charlies, which are peppermint scented butt wipes for men. And they've even got an aftershave now, too. These guys are, like, trying to take over the world. Well, okay, maybe not quite the world, but at least the U.S., Canada, and Australia, where people can join the club and for a reasonable amount of money per month, make sure that they're always getting a nice, clean shave. So, guys, check out the link that is in the lower third right here and also in the video description to join the club today. Also, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment letting me know if you have suggestions for future Fast as possible episodes. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie and please share the videos. That's also helpful too if you enjoyed them.